I'm flying off. Bosh! Jesus Christ, it's lovely. No, Dad's in again. He's trying to put this fish back and uh, you know, the rod's going off. This is working really well. <laughs> right, just having a coffee. One of Dad's has gone right in off again. First one. Oh. Ugh. Get right back in. What a cracking update. Right, so, I've got two rods out. Left rod is just straight out towards this point out here. Sort of just off of that, a few rod lengths. And then the right rod I've just put out into this bay. Now, I've not actually fished this area of this um, lake before. I've only been to the venue a couple of times, if I'm honest. But um, I saw a fish show uh, sort of out in this general sort of area around here so I've put the left rod out there to start with and I've just put the right one down in this way just in case the fish are potentially sort of in this this sort of bay I'd imagine it's quite a sheltered bit of water at this time of year in the, in the winter and that um, but at the moment fishing off the barrow all I've done is get the two rods out set the net up ready to go and that's all I've done and all I'm going to do for the time being is just see if I can get a bite if I don't get a bite in here then I'll potentially move and try a different area and I just keep sort of moving around until potentially I can get a few bites and locate a group of fish on these kind of lakes the fish really do sort of group up so if I get a bite I'm expecting to get a few bites and we just go from there essentially now I'm here with my old man who's uh, taking his time in uh, getting around here. But um, yeah, it's looking nice. It's nice and mild, so hopefully we'll have a chance of a few. Welcome to a new video, we're back on the bank and you join me down in Somerset. Now I'm on a lake, I, um, I've been to a couple of times in the past but not for a long time. Myself and Hugh come here probably three, four years ago for a um, winter session, had a few fish and um, I thought I'd come back but this time I'm actually with my dad. Um, we've come out for a bit of a social. Um, I worked last night so I drove straight down after work and um, got here just as it was getting light and um, yeah we've come for um, a day and um, we are on Viaduct Fishery. Now, there's quite a few people on today. We've dropped on to um, Carry Lake, uh, which is sort of one of the more sort of carp focused waters. Um, it's kind of a complex of, of lakes down here. Um, some of them aimed at match fishing, some of them more aimed at, at carp fishing. Uh, there is one lake which is um, like a specimen uh, fishery for, for carp fishing with some slightly bigger fish in it. But um, we've come on to um, what is, I, I guess, the, the sort of more runs water um, on the complex but with a, a better stamp of fish in it. It's actually got a few t sort of 20s in there. If you can get the fish going and get, um, get a decent hit, you've got a chance of having a 20. So. Um, hopefully we've got a chance of having a few today. Um, it is pretty mild conditions. 
Um, it is quite busy, um, could potentially work in our favour, move the fish around, or if we end up getting stuck in a zone where there's no fish, it could end up being the death of the session. But um, hopefully we'll have a few bites. Um, I will talk through what I'm doing tactics-wise, bait-wise, all that sort of stuff throughout the video, and hopefully we'll have a few fish to show you um, as we go along. So I'm gonna get the rods out and um, get a bit of bait in there, let's see if we can have a few fish, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll have a few to show you for the cameras. Hey! Well, first bite of the day. There's been plenty of fish showing out there. Just literally put a couple of pouches of baits out again, some 8 mil bug. And the right under has gone off. Happy days. Oh, well, that dropped off. <laughs> I was playing that a bit too hard on the thing. Hey. Alright, Dan's got his first bite. I've managed to drop one off. Let's hope he gets this one in. It's been a bit slow so far. There's been quite a few fish showing out in front of us, but we haven't had many much interest. Wee. Oh, there we go then. First one of the day to dad. Nice mid double. Hopefully, there's a few more. Well done. Oh, dad's in again. Hauling. A bit small, that one. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty narrow. <laughs> Slender net. <laughs> oh, God, no. You found it there, someone dumped it or something. You four left it there and you picked it up. That is it. That's what I used to be fighting in for. No, I can't remember it. Oh, he's a bit smaller. <laughs> he's in. Yeah. He's 
you know. Oh, oh. Too much pressure pulling it in there. Pressure the camera that was. Oh no. Right, second bleep for me of that finally. The first fish I managed to drop off. Dad's had a couple. It's been really quiet on my side, but eventually you've got another one on, so hopefully we can get this one in the net. Kicking up so much silt. It's literally like chocolate in front of me now. Yeah, scrapping. Yeah, this is a little double. I mean, he's trapping really well. Full of beans. I'm really going for it. Right, first one of the day on a little snowman rig, little mesh bag of pellet. I did drop off one at the start, but since then it's gone really quiet. I've had a little walk around the complex. It's really busy, so there's not really much option to move, but there's still a few fish, I think, in the zone. Dad's had a few, so hopefully as the day goes on and um, we go into the afternoon, we might have a better chance and they might switch on, but the drizzle's getting all over the lens. He's not very happy. Let's get him back and see if we can get another one. <laughs> Well, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. So, just having a coffee and, um, yeah, just got a bit of food on and um, sort of lunchtime-ish now, so I thought I'd have a bit of food. But um, basically, it's been a little bit of a slow morning. Um, Dad's actually had a, a few more uh, takes my I've had. I think he's on three fish now, um, lost one or two. Um, I lost a fish straight away, um, bullied it a little bit too much. Um, and I have finally had another one, so um, I've, I've got the blank out of the way but um it's been quite a slow morning there's been quite a lot of people on here um i think there's been quite a few guys sort of just fishing one rod float fishing possibly after the perch um but i think they're just sort of moving their way around the complex um i actually brought the rods in for for about sort of 15 20 minutes earlier and did a sort of lap of the complex because i've never really walked around the whole complex and I've never really looked at the actual um, specimen lake. So I did a walk around there. Um, very busy, a lot of people fishing it, but I did find a little quiet corner um, where there was quite a few fish held up by one of the inlet pipes. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's a load of fish in here. Nothing that big, but a lot of them. It's literally the only place on the lake without any pressure. The rest of this lake, there's, there's guys all around it. There's actually a bloke fishing carp in the other side of here and all the fish are just in this in this corner along this snaggy snaggy bank. There you go, there's a few that come up through there. But they ain't very big. But you know what? They might even be up for uh, a bit of bread or something off the top, those fish. I reckon you could snort them out. There's just two coming through here. They're not very big fish. 
Um, didn't really see anything that I would call specimen size, so um, didn't really sort of interest me to go around there. But um, yeah, I've, I've sort of had the rods out for most of the morning. Um, like I said, it's, there's been fish showing, they just really don't seem massively switched on. Um, but it's just going to be a case of keep trickling a little bit of bait in, letting them often, um, sort of recasting the rods, freshening the hook baits, just trying to keep some attraction going in the water, try and get some food out there because there's quite a lot of fish in there, they're going to respond to bait. So we're both sort of fishing a relatively similar zone, just trickling the bait and letting them often and hopefully um, we'll have a few more fish as the um, afternoon um, comes along and um, we start getting towards that sort of... Um, end of the day where the light starts to change I think that's going to be the one when we might have a chance of having a few more fish but we'll see how it goes hopefully we'll have a few more before we have to head home Has it picked it up? Has it caught up, has it? No, it's just gone underneath it. I think, I hope. Otherwise, I'm in a rope match now. <laughs> it's going back the other way, isn't it? Isn't that up a minute? Hmm? Before I pick it up again. This is the first one I've had on the bigger bait. Have they still got air? I don't know, because it can feel something kicking. It must be this then, I caught up with it. Or is there a fish on there as well? No, it's, no, it's got it, isn't it? Yeah. I thought I passed it over the top. Oh dear, that'll make good, good footage. If it twists that up, that good job I bought another rod with me. <laughs> is it the wrong neck on it? I think I, I think Best I bit now be if you get fish bit this. <laughs> that a, that one a drop off. <laughs> oh, it's common. Oh, hey. It's a salmon. Uh, yeah, are you going to let me have scrape or double for that one? Yeah. Okay. You can report that on your blog. Slipping in. That's a bigger bait I got on there as well. Yeah, I think I don't know what you think. Thanks, thanks for your assistance. What have you got going on there, Dad? Doing some netting. I'm sure we'll win in the end. What's <laughs> flying off? Oh. Right then, point number three. It's been absolutely ripped off. Just put a little bit of bait out. And off it's gone. The key on here is definitely bait. Even at this time of year, just keeping that bait going in little and often definitely seems to be what they want.
Ta -da. Right, live little mirror. Another one, same tactic. Bug snowman, little mesh bag. Just been little and often sprinkling a few bodies over the spot and off it's gone. Not big, but it is nice to get some bites. I think Dad's on four now. This is my second one, so it's nice to get a few bites and hear the rods go rattling off. Hopefully we'll have a few more before we have to get going. Let's slip this guy back and get that rod back out there. Just topping up the spot with a few eight meters. I've basically been raining these in through the day, and these little eight mil bug boilies are basically like spraying it with pellet. And on these commercial lakes, which get a lot of match anglers fishing um, pellet waggler and that through most of the year. The fish do associate that trickler bait as food. So uh, it pays just to um, just keep trickling a little bit of bait in, even when this, it's not really happening. Like today, it's been quite slow, if I'm honest. We've only had a few. But it pays just to keep trickling a bit of bait in as they do come in onto the sound of it and um, it can sort of switch them on into a, having a bit of a feed. I'm just putting a few armfuls out. These are uh, these little baits <laughs> these little baits don't make up too much food really. Um, the other mm -hmm. species gonna have them as well there's quite a few bream that in here so they're gonna have them. But it just creates that noise and potentially brings them in onto the spot. Right, just having a coffee. When a dad's just gone right in off again, he's definitely uh, doing better than me today. What's that, number five? Well, if you get it in the net, it is. <laughs> um, most of the anglers that were on here have actually now gone. Uh, there's just a couple of uh, guys on their boxes fishing out the uh, rest of the day, but um, the light is going a bit now. And yeah, rod's finally gone off. We've had a good couple of hours of uh, nothing happening. Hopefully, it might be the start of a couple before we get going. But who knows? fish now. Yeah. Right, well as you can see the light is uh, pretty much going. My dad's got one on the, on the Anuki mat. I've been getting a few liners and uh, mine's now gone off. They're good, huh? Eh? <laughs> 
thought you were going to say 19 there. Huh? All my uh, bikes have come on my left hand rod and I think considering the amount of action my dad's been having in comparison to what I've been having I think the majority of the fish are probably further around to the left so more in the, uh, the central area of the lake oh no the Light has died on the camera. Awesome. Right then. This is probably the last fish of the session for me, I think. Fish number three. It's probably the nicest one I've had. It's a lovely scaly mirror. Put up a lovely scrap as well. There we go. Look at that. Feels like a block of ice, actually. But just before I had this bite, my dad had one as well. I think he's on six um, or seven. Um, I'm on three, so I've well and truly got a smash by my dad. But um, nice to get some bites. Nice to finish with a quite a nice looking uh, mirror as well. So happy days. But I think it's time to um, get this guy back and um, get on the road. So I'm right, just trying to just trying to put this fish back, and uh, you know, the rod's going off. <laughs> Oh dear, I thought that was going to be the last one. Oh, this is all wrapped up. I'm just trying to get his thing back. Oh, that's right, he's trying to get him back. Instead of swimming out of the net, he's swimming into the net. Yeah, but he's swimming back into the net. <laughs> I can't get him out. So I'm, I'm basically just going to have to set the net up. Right. Oh dear. Right, he's out. Bloody hell. Bloody nuts now. What the hell's going on here? What the hell was that? Is there even a car? Oh, it's a car. Oh, that's random. Oh, that's a common. Oh, jeez. But it, it just seemed to come in like a bream. <laughs> Well, I thought that was going to be the last fish, but the remaining rod, which I haven't had a bite on, has, uh, has gone off with, um, it's common. Not quite a double, a nice chunky fish. Anyway, we'll get her back, and uh, Dad's got one in the net, so uh, I think that's four, eight, I think, or four, seven. But um, yeah, I'm stepping back. <laughs> Monster. Oh, it's ridiculous. Well, I had another one. Dad had another one. I thought, while I was sorting out that fish, I'd just flick this rod back out. I was getting everything packed down and um I was just literally about to come down and just uh take the pod and put it back onto the uh barrow and um it's gone off he's trying to kite left I've just packed all the uh, the camera gear away, and um, this is going to be fish number five, I think. 
which is going to be the second one just on GoPro because um, I packed it all away. If I get it in. Just got a lively chat. Oh, another common. That's definitely the last one of the day. Nice to finish on a bite. After a bit of a slow day, so nice to get a few, uh, well, uh, three bites, which literally within probably about half an hour. Just shows this time of year, the bite time is, can be quite small windows. Oh, it's quite a nice common actually. <laughs> actually quite a nice one that. Oh lovely, look at that. Happy days. Oh that is gonna be the last one. No more rods are in the water, we've got to get going. But um, definitely uh, a double that one, uh, probably 12 pounds or so, but a lovely condition fish, actually really tidy fish. So uh, nice fish to uh, finish the session on. So um, anyway, just get them back and get going home. Hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, remember to subscribe if you're not already. Check out the social media showing at the bottom of the screen now, especially the Instagram as I do upload on there quite daily and um, always try and put some content on there when I'm, I'm in session but um, if you're getting out be lucky get out and catch a few of these and until the next time see you soon Bosh! <laughs>